In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to the latest 2.3.3 uh, Facebook Inside Xperia update that just came out and uh, still maintain root. So um, it, this is only works if an over-the-air update is available for your region. So right now I flashed the 2.3.2 .2 generic North American uh, ROM and I've connected to the Rogers uh, 3G network but if you go into settings about an update and search for an update it'll say that there's no update available so this again this only works if an update is already available from your carrier so I'm just gonna flash the Rogers version of the 2.3.2 .2 ROM you can also flash your carrier's version of 2.3.2 .2 if your carrier has an update for 2.3.3. Uh, so again, this doesn't work on all phones yet. So the phone's finished flashing, and I'm just gonna start it up. So as you can see, it's back to a Rogers branded ROM. Um, you don't have to flash a Rogers ROM. Obviously, you're flashing whatever carrier you have, uh, Orange or Vodafone or whatever carrier um, your phone is from, instead of the generic. So this again only works if there is a 2.3.3 over-the-air update available from your carrier. So once you've uh, started up the phone, the next step is to uh, root. So check the other video, and I'm just going to download and install Gingerbreak and root the phone. So once the phone is started up, as you can see we're back to 2.3.2 .2 and build 181. I'm just going to open up the browser. So once you're online, download a ginger root or ginger break and just root the phone. So you can use the short link. Ginger root one. It'll start the download. Once that's complete, just run ginger root again. So unknown development USB debugging. And root the phone. Once the phone has been rooted, you'll now have super user. And just to verify, the phone is still running 2.3.2 build 181. So just verify that you have a root by either running Gingerbreak again and approving the super user request or by installing something like BusyBox or Titanium Backup or something that uses root uh, just to make sure you do have root. Next, go into settings, about, software update, update now, and the phone should say that there's an update. So there is an update, click OK, and it'll download. Again, this only works if your carrier has already issued an update for 2.3.3. Uh, so by doing this, um, your phone will update to 2.3.3, but you'll maintain root. And uh, depending on your carrier and the speeds, it'll take anywhere from about uh, 2 to 10 minutes to download the update. So I'll be back once it's uh, finished downloading and starting the update. So once the update finishes, just click OK to start installing it and the phone will shut off and uh, install multiple times. So this takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So the phone is finished updating and now it's just gonna restart.
and it's finally finished uh, restarting and as you can see the software has been updated if you go into settings about it's now running 2.3.3 and build 145 if we go back into the applications super, um, super user is still there and I'm just gonna remove gingerbread to show you that uh, it still works so if I go back into gingerbread it'll request super user access again so that's how you update the phone to 2.3.3 while still maintaining root and again it only works if your carrier has officially pushed an update over the air because the update doesn't uh, erase any da user data if you update using PC Companion or update service it typically does wipe the phone and it flashes uh, the complete firmware so you will lose root and you won't be able to root it with gingerbreak uh, because it isn't updating your phone it's flashing an entire new firmware onto the phone um, if anything goes wrong with the over-the-air flashing you can use PC Companion to repair the phone or update service to repair the phone if you need to directly I have posted the uh, Rogers 2.3.3 ROM if you want to flash it directly so this is the complete uh, ROM 260 plus megs if you want to download it directly but again note uh, this cannot be rooted so the only way you can root 2.3.3 is if you uh, upgrade over the air um, from 2.3.2